Oh, ow. He nailed us there. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's just coming after us, man. All right, guys, we are back and ready to take off and see if we can kill this worm. So I have made 15 incendiary rifle rounds. I have 76 normal rounds, uh, 32 flint arrows, and I have, um, hold on a second. Let's throw this in here and make a few more uh, rifle rounds. Sure. I guess that's all we can make. Um, oh, actually... We should have some more gunpowder cooking up in here, though. And let's make one more poison um, potion thing, too. All right, wait a minute. Here, cancel this. And then make one more of those. Let's see if we can put that in there and get... How many more of these can we get? Three more. Nice. Uh, these do 50 less physical damage but you know they have explosive and or fire damage so i thought we might try those out on the worm hopefully he's not immune to or resistant to fire slash explosive damage all right so we'll make one more of these and then we'll have um eight anti-poison tonic in case we do get poisoned from mr worm and yeah i've, I've only been working for maybe a couple hours at the most if even that, hour and a half, uh, just we got everything we needed out of this one cave here, which is actually right by the drop ship, which is was handy. Um, and yeah, um, I didn't get the shotgun this time. I just got the rifle because that worm is so far away. I don't know if the shotgun, if the shotgun would do any good anyways. <clears throat> um, we have some more copper there, but we're not going to actually need it. So um, what am I waiting for? I was waiting for something. Uh, I guess the last tonic, right? Yeah, okay. All right, so we got food um, and healing food here. I've got um, an extra campfire and bedroll so we can spend the night because it is going to get dark. Uh, we should probably maybe refresh our torch. So let's grab that. Um, actually, here, we can make one, even one more. Uh, I, I'm sure we're not going to need this many. In fact, if we are, we're doing something wrong, but what the hell, we'll make it anyway. Um, okay, so what was I doing? Oh, torch. Yeah, let's make another torch. So let's see. Do we have everything? Uh, we need some sticks and fiber. Okay, let's grab this. Make one more. Poison tonic. Let's run out here and grab a little bit of fiber really quick. Um, this is what I'm looking for. I there was enough platinum in there for me to make a platinum pick too. Not that we're gonna probably even use it, but what I like to try and do with my uh, you know, the pick that I bring down, the Shingong Dong or whatever it's called is I like to uh, try and mine up at least 60 plat or platinum before it breaks. So that way, as soon as I get the concrete furnace, I can go right to the platinum pick. And I can, and if I do that, I can skip the steel pick. I don't even have to do the steel pick, so it works out pretty good. Uh, anyway, all right, so let's put all this stuff back in here. <coughs> so we have two uh, full torches there. We got ammo, we got food. Uh, we have bedroll, campfire. Um, let's take some wood with us, too, just because we can, and I think we're ready to go. Our air is pretty much full. Our water's pretty much full. And, yeah, I don't think there's anything else for us to do here. So, let's set off. All right. Um, oh yeah, we got pneumonia, so let's take take that out. Pain in the butt, but, you know, when you have the tonics, it's not a big deal. Eat that, eat that, and eat that. Okay, I've got a longbow, and I still have the, uh, this, the Shingong Jijing bow. 
with us, but I'm not planning on using the bow necessarily. We're going to mostly use the rifle. Uh, so let's get to this entrance here. This is a really narrow uh, corridor to get through here. And I will uh, bring you guys back when we get close to the boss. All right, we got a bear up ahead. Let's try out uh, one of these incendiaries. Uh, actually, where's that damn pig? I don't want him attacking us at the same time. I don't see him. All right, well, here, let's try the bear out. We one-shotted him. Nice. Okay. It looked like it did explode as opposed to burned. Yeah, not sure. Okay, let's keep moving here. All right, we're getting close to the first area that we're supposed to go to. And we're looking for search first sighting zone for worm signs. It's right over here. Oh man, are you going to make me build a freaking ladder up there again? Or a ramp? Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay. Uh, let's get stuff to do that then. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to here and make some ramps. Ramps, ramps, ramps. We'll make 13 of those. And we're going to just kind of build them into the side like this. Okay, so we're supposed to search for a worm sign. Oh, I guess it doesn't, now that I think about it, I guess it doesn't have to be up here on this ledge, does it? Are we even supposed to be up here? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there's kind of like an invisible wall there. Well, let's just run the, the length of this at least until the circle thing we get through the circle area and then we'll go back down and run along down there I really actually don't have any idea what I'm looking for is it supposed to be a hole in the ground or something I don't know Okay, so we're at the edge of the circle there, no worm sign. We better go back to the ramp. If we jump off of here, we're gonna break our leg. What my plan is, is is to find it and then the cave that I spent uh that I stayed in when we did the uh what was it, seven pillars mission or whatever, is not very far from here. We go spend the night there. Before we continue on. Alright. On the off chance that I might need these again. Let's take them back with us. I think I can't get that one. I don't know. It won't let me get that one, but whatever. Let's just go. Okay. Um. 
So search for a worm sign. All right. Well, let's just kind of look. We know it's... Oh, wait a minute. Are we supposed to be able to get up high here? I kind of doubt that. Pretty sure we're not. So it's got to be down here somewhere. Wonder if it would be up on top of this thing. Alright, well, I don't seem to be finding it down on the ground. So let's ramp up here. Man, this sucker's high. That's all I got for ramps. Can I get up here? <laughs> oh no! No, no, no. This is not what we needed. That is not what we needed to have happen. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Well, let's get some health back here. Um. I need to be doing this in the daytime so I can see what the hell I'm doing. So. Okay. Let's uh, eat some of that. And I need to find a place to spend the night. So I will bring you guys back in the morning and we will continue this quest here. All right, guys. We are back in the morning and uh, back in the area here. So... Um, I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be looking for. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of just zigzag back and forth, uh, in this lower area and see if something pops up. And if nothing pops up, then we will build, uh, a ramp back up to the top. And hopefully this time I won't drop and break my leg. Um... So it says search for a worm sign. I'm not exactly sure what that even means. I mean, like a hole in the ground that it's been moving through maybe or something. Not really sure. But like I said, if we kind of just sweep the area back and forth, hopefully something will pop up that will become obvious. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so it's a furrow in the ground. Ah, yeah, see, I I just didn't see that in the dark last night. Okay, press E to interact. That's what you're looking for. Only one thing could have made that. Okay, search a second sighting zone for worm signs. All the way down here now. Jeez Louise, okay. I'll see you guys when we get down there. All right, so we are in the area now. Um, so just looking around, I guess, for just another one of those furrows in the sand, unless there's other uh, types of worm sign. I don't know. I'm not a worm signologist. I'm not spotting anything from here. I'm leaning a little further back in my chair than usual, guys. My back's kind of bothering me today, so I'm in low rider mode. <laughs> yeah, low rider mode. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I guess we're just looking for more of the furrows. Where are we at now? Kind of at the edge of it, so let's go this way. Oh, maybe this thing here. Like a worm busted through the rock? Why the hell would it do that? There's plenty of room for it to go around. Demolished rock forms. You're getting closer. I hope you're ready. Okay, now where the hell do we gotta go? Way off that way. Alright, let's do it. I think that might be a little bit far down. Um why can't I get this thing to turn the other way? Pressing R is not rotating it. 
Come on, you stupid thing. Oh shit, well, oh shit. <laughs> well, at least we sprained our leg this time instead of breaking it. <sighs> I need to start carrying around a splint with me, man. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be somewhere around here. Worm sign. What could else could be considered worm sign? Is there like big worm turds or something? I don't know. My assumption is... Oh, here we go. Here we go. We found it. He killed in half a lump. The kind of thing that does that? You better know exactly what you're doing chasing it down. Find a way to lure the creature. Find or kill and retrieve an animal corpse. Place animal corpse near burrow. Please tell me where the burrow is. Uh, oh, right here. Okay. All right. Let's run to the burrow, and then we'll kill an animal corpse and put it there and see what happens. If this worm isn't any tougher than the one that we fought in um, uh, El Camino, then I'm not too worried about it. If he's tougher, then maybe I should be. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. We shall find out. Okay, I think that little puff of dust or something over there is what we're looking for. So let's find a critter. There was an antelope just right over here. Did he go... Over the crest of the hill. Oh, there's a pig. And we are level 111. Look at us and our bad selves. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit. I wasn't supposed to skin him. I was supposed to pick him up. Ah, crap. Okay. Let's get a, a different one. How about a zebra? I'm just so used to doing that, you know. It's a habit. All right, let's not have our kniffy in our hand. Okay, hold the carry. Try laying some bait to lure it out. All right, how close do I have to be? Um, here, let's make sure we have full. Um. Oh, I guess I can't eat while I'm hanging on to an, a critter. Oh. Okay. All right. This is what you came for. Uh, hurry, eat. Hello. Ooh, look at that crit. Jump out of the way. All right, shoot in the face. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Jump out of the way. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him again. Hurry up, reload. Woo! He got us. Ouch, that hurt. Son of a bitch. Okay. We got... We got to kind of learn his moves. Okay. Yeah, that's what he comes after us. All right, let's... Uh... What the hell? Is he dead? Oh, he was just... Oh, shit. I had no. Oh yeah, we got cougars. Ah! Okay. Okay. Here, quick, fish, heal, or not fish, meat. Sorry. Oh, out. He nailed us there. Oh shit. <laughs> He's just coming after us, man. That was like three hits in a row. Ah! Oh, oh shit! Wow. No kidding. I mean, seriously. I know, seriously. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um, I, I wasn't expecting him to lunge at me three times in a row. We took some hits there, man. Um. Yeah, look at this thing. Woo -wee. Can we like 
skin him or something? Get any, any trophy off of him or anything? And when he was laying down like that, I I thought he was dead. I mean, I wasn't sure what he was doing. I could have gotten some, you know, melee hits off on him. Uh, but, you know, I'll know for next time. Crazy, man. Crazy. Okay, that was fun. Actually enjoyed that fight. I thought it was going to go on for a little bit longer, but um, we got her done. All right, well, back to the dropship. I'll see you guys when we get there. All right. Man, the game threw three friggin' bears right in my path um, as soon as I uh, re-entered the Riverlands. Uh, but anyway, we killed them, and we are back. And let's see. We you cooked it, friend. All in a day's work. Yeah. Uh, we put our tools back. You don't get far around here without the Lagos unit's help. And they're going to like this. Okay, are you done, Saul? Um, yeah, so we got all of our stuff. I still have my bow and my skinny knife there, so we are good to go. Let's do it. That was a pretty fun mission, man. I just... The only thing I'm not liking about these missions is running all over the place. It's just nuts. You know, um... It's not a good way to make these quests challenging, because after a while, it just gets old, in my opinion. So, anyway... We, we finished dust up and it was fun. I mean, I enjoyed it. Uh, the fight, especially. Okay. Let's select our level 50, really 111 character and get our money. Um, let's see. New prospect. Wait a minute. Aren't we supposed to get a, a thing? Mission complete notification. Oh, are we supposed to do this manually now? It used to just pop up automatically. All right. Show prospect info. Wait, what? That's not going to let me keep cheesing that, is it? I have 600 up here. No, it's not. Okay. In prospect notification. Uh... In prospect notification. Delete. There we go. What's this do? Oh, that just goes back to that screen. You've completed mission. You can view the summary of your drop here. Thought I just deleted that. It's not actually deleting. Weird. Okay. Anyway, we now have 600 Rin. Um, and... Oh, no. Actually, let's go back. Let's go to the workshop. So our focus at the moment is working on armor. Um, so we can get... Are they all 250 and 50? Yes. Okay, so that means we can get two pieces right now. So it probably makes sense to get the chest... Man, look at the bonuses you get when you get the full set. Uh, so let's get the chest and the legs. Okay. And then um, we have enough currency to make them too. Nice. Okay. I'm assuming this stuff is at least as good as the stuff you can make in tier four. It really looks cool. Very nice. Okay, so we still got to uh, grind for the the helm, uh, the arms, and the legs. but uh, Or, I'm sorry, the feet. But we got the chest and the legs, which is going to help quite a bit. I mean, this thing just alone gives 12 physical resistance, 7 heat and cold resistance, and 5 exposure resistance, which is pretty darn good. All right. So, let's see here. So, let's go back to here. Now, um... That didn't really take me that long to, to do that. Um, I guess the money, though, when I understand, is in the hardcore version of this. So I could definitely do this uh, within six hours. I think it only maybe took me th two to three hours to do the normal one. And, and that was largely because I wasn't sure what I was looking for. Now that I know what I'm looking for. 
Um, so I'm not too worried about the time on this, but what does Ringo's it do? Unit runs this show, but they're always looking out for good crews. They got a special kind of trouble. Maybe you heard rumors, but a sandworm's no joke. You'll need to track it down and get rid of the thing somehow. Okay, so the the creature has 30% more health and he can move 10% faster. Yikes. I mean it was it wasn't super easy dodging his his lunges in the first place. Um but we get 750 coin and 100 exotics as a reward for doing this. Um, I don't know. I think what I should probably do is try this in multiplayer first uh, so that I can be revived if I bite the dust. Or at least maybe wait till we have the full armor set before we try it. Um, so yeah, let's hold off on that. I mean, I could probably pull it off, but... If I can't, you know, then I think I'm totally screwed on this character if I understand correctly. All right, what is Spirit Walk explanation? Unlimited access okay. to... According oh, to anywhere. NBA, you just graduated. That's kind of cool, actually. Open to you. Congratulations. Mm, this would be kind of fun to do. Far. Where do you want to go? This would be kind of fun to do, actually, for just a casual... You know, just take it easy, have some fun, enjoy the game, smell the roses, build a big-ass base for no reason. <laughs> I'll have to keep that in mind. We don't get any reward for it, but, you know, we just do it for funsies. Um, but we we actually have to do this to, to open up these two missions here. Okay. Station to station extended survey. So, oh, we haven't done snowblind scan. Okay, that's why these aren't open up. I know two guys that, you know, there's a couple of the earlier missions that we still haven't done either. And I'll probably do them just to do them. But I, right now I'm kind of in grinding, you know, out currency and exotics mode so we can get, you know, better equipment kind of thing. And then we'll probably go back and do some of these earlier ones. Like I haven't done Headstone Geo Survey, for example, and just do them for the hell of it kind of thing. Um, how much do we get for this supply stockpile? Yeah, Only 250 Hmm. I mean, I did this on multiplayer. It's a lot of work for only 250 We were going to do a stockpile one. I probably would want to do one that's going to pay out more. So uh, what does the ramp up stockpile pay out? Ooh, 600 Yowzers. All right, so it's multiple backgrounds. Um, We have 30 days to do it, and we make 600 coin. All right, that's something to think about. I'll tell you what I think I want to do, though, you guys. And I mentioned this earlier. I want to do Avalanche. How much does Snowblind pay? Only 250 Okay, that's just going to be another scan the three locations get attacked by creatures thing. I want to do this again. Um, but I want to do things differently. Because the the quest kind of sucks. I mean, it's not that the... What you do in the quest sucks. It's kind of fun, you know, when you get, have to build the laser. That part I enjoyed, but it, it's just, you know, the way that I did it and where I made my base, I had to run all over the place, and it took me so long. But now I kind of know what the deal is. And, you know, because of the fact that I, I'm pretty sure I could knock this out in probably three to five hours, maybe, if everything goes well. And for 600 coin or ren payout, that's pretty damn good. Um, I, what I don't think I will do though, is I'm not going to do like a full video of this cause we already have, um, but I'll probably just do maybe a short highlight video, um, where I'll just give you real brief updates, say, Hey, here's, here's the base. Here's, here's where I'm at now. Um, and, and so on and so forth. Tell you, you know, how well it went, how long it went and maybe just do a, a quick and probably relatively short episode, uh, you know, just to kind of give you guys an update on how things went. Um, and that way, you know, if it, if I am successful and it does work out and we can knock out a 600 reward quest in, you know, um, a few hours, I can show you guys how I did it in case you guys want to try it at some point too. Now I know desktop hardcore pays more and you have to do it in six hours, but again, I, I think 
I want to wait until I either have, you know, buddies to help me with that, or at least I have the full set of the in-game armor there. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go here. I'm going to get this started up, and like I said, I will uh, bring you back with some updates on how I'm doing um, in a just, you know, hopefully what will be a relatively short video. And then after, you know, we do that, um, then we'll go on and do another a new mission that we haven't done yet. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.